Bonjour, how's it going? Um, I hope you're all very, very well. Oh, I got witch casket. Very excited. Um, my little disclaimer as always, if you don't like these kind of boxes, feel free to pass on this one. But these boxes make me happy in my face. Um, I pay for this myself. Um, it's not PR. I wish it was PR. I wish it was PR, but it is not. Um, witch casket. I will leave all the links down below. Um, I don't have a discount code because, again, it's not PR. Um, so, yeah, I just pay for it myself. And if you want one, go and pay for it yourself. Yeah. Um, it's got witchy goodies and all the fun stuff. And I just love it. So, let's just jump in. Ooh. So, it says, Witch Casket Fire Element February 2022. Here is February's Witch Casket. We hope that you all love it as much as we do and can see the creativity and loving energy we put into it. February is a month synony synonymous with love and passion, so we're focused on the most passionate of all elements, fire. We hope the casket empowers you, energises you, and helps you incorporate the fiery element into your magical workings. Please remember to read the entire pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with this month's magical, magical items. We're already busy working on March casket. Um, and then it just talks about how they want you to tag them and everything. So, yeah, this is what's in it. And we're just going to grab it and have a look. So, we've got a print. It says... Um, where are you? Fire Magic Art Print. This fiery print was created by our magical in-house designer, especially for you. Um, so that's just a one-off print that you get from Witch Casket. You can't get it anywhere else. So that will go on my wall. So there. Um, next we've got a banishing fire ritual. It contains everything you need to banish or let go of things which you know which no longer serve. Oh, I need this. I need this in my life right now. A hundred percent. This is happening tonight. Um a banishing fire ritual contains everything you need an iron nail a black candle and rosemary um, and there will be full instructions in there of how you need to do the spell if you so choose to do the spell which believe me i will be um we have got an elemental altar cloth beautifully uh, honors the element of earth fire and water and bring magic to your sacred space with our exclusive altar cloth Oh wow. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. I don't have an altar big enough to put these on because my altar is literally just a bookcase on little tiny shelves. So I will hang this on my ceiling or on my wall. I'm like I've got my wall on there. And we've got a badge. Um, uh, enamel pin this enchanting enamel pin on the power of fire pin it to your jacket bags or wall displays very very lovely um we've got some carnelian really nice piece of carnelian actually by the looks of it carnelian is a stabilizing stone which calms and anger encourages the harmony and raises self-esteem uh believed to promote courage carnelian can help us feel empowered and overcome difficulties that is a really really beautiful piece of carnelian and it's got a rune um carved into it as well or a sigil really lovely that feels really nice to hold very tactile and cold bam we've got some elemental fire tea blend which says uh, connect with the fire element with this magical blend of ginseng and ginger uh, brew with intent, stir clockwise and affirm. Invoke the passion of the fire. Energise me to fulfil my desire. Motivation is driving me as, a, as I will it, so mote it be. I'm going to have one of those tonight. We've got a dragon's blood cleansing spell. Um, magical envelope holds everything you need to banish negative energy. Oh, I need that as well. Now, dragon's blood resin charcoal discs and instructions it says be sure, sure to use the charcoal tongs included in this casket when you handle your charcoal discs so i'm going to do both of these i'm going to um banish and then i'm going to banish double fucking banish um oh and i've got some tongs charcoal tongs and they've got the symbols on the side as well um cedar wood spills 
Uh, carry your flame from one candle to another with witch caskets exclusive magical spills. A cedar wood is known for its power. Lighting your candles with cedar wood can add potency to your magic. Oh, so yeah, there are some spells to use to light your candles when you're doing the magic. And again, they all have a witch casket and they all have symbols on them. Smells really good. They smell lovely. They're gonna be they're gonna smell lovely when they burn. I needed these last night. We had a power cut. We didn't really power for 24 hours and I was struggling to light candles. Um oh my god there's more. Um we've got the scroll which always gives me anxiety that I'm gonna rip it when I take this sticker off. The scroll usually gives you um like information about what it is. So we've got like the element of fire and magic um, and it tells you all about what you can do with the element of fire, um, crystals that are associated with it, um, herbs that are associated with it, um, and what you can use it for. So that is mine. Um, with these things, you can either you can put them in a, in a frame, you can just put them in your book of shadows, you can copy them out, take the notes, whatever you want, but it's your kind of thing to absorb. Um, I've got a bowl, I think, which I'm chucking stuff everywhere. Um, where are you? Elemental Brass Altar Bowl. <gasps> Look at that! Um, and it's got the symbol, element symbol on there as well. Um, what does it say about you? Uh, use this. I thought I heard Gary then. Use this magical exclusively designed altar bowl to safely practice fire magic. This beautiful brass cauldron can be used for any spells which require the burning of paper, herbs, resin or incense. This is the ideal vessel for dragon's blood cleansing spell which is also included within the casket. It can also be used as an offering bowl. Always stand on a heat resistant surface when in use. So again I'll be using that tonight. And then the last thing in here is some incense which is orange and peppermint. I've never had before anything like that but that sounds incredible. And as you, if you've been here before, you know, there is no such thing as too much incense. If anyone in your life tells you you burn too much incense, then do a cleansing spell on them and get them out of your life because you don't need that negativity. Oh, that's really weird. I can't. That's so weird. It's like initially you smell it and it's toothpaste. But then it's the orange. That is so weird. I'm intrigued to see how they smell when they burn because not all incense smells exactly the same as what it smells like when it's not burning. Um, yeah, invoke the element of fire when, with energising orange and peppermint. Light the incense and affirm, fire ignite the passion in me, fuel me with your energy. Awesome. So that was the box. I really like that one. That's a really, really lovely one. I definitely feel like I need the um, banishing one at the moment um because there's some things i need to get rid of in my life and hopefully this will be the nail in the coffin so to speak um yeah let me know what you think i love that i think that was awesome uh yeah i'm gonna go and do this and i will take some pictures whilst i do the spell maybe and um, or after i've done the spell probably not while i'm doing it because i want to concentrate uh yeah Thanks so much for watching and I love you, bye.